In the previous lesson, we explained what is really happening to the video card when it's overclocked. We've also learned about the program responsible for carrying out this process. Now, let's talk about safety and control. We were always told to be cautious. This time, it's true, because your dear video card is at stake. The temperature needs to be monitored. It depends on the heat sink efficiency, its working condition, quality of the thermal grease, fan design, and its RMP. It also depends on the settings we chose, meaning the frequency and voltage. All of this is monitored by Afterburner as one of its functions, called Hardware Monitor. The name itself literally tells you everything you need to know. It monitors every operation of your hardware. And it's really important to be able to read and understand the information it provides in order to make the greatest overclocking and avoid any problems with performance or death of your hardware in the process. Performance indicators are shown in real time and the current rate is displayed on the right. Minimum and maximum rate parameters per session are shown on the left side. As for the indicator graph, you just have to hover over it and find out its values. You can also see the exact time of the measurement. You can set the convenient grid snap or record a video. If you enable reporting, you can review all data at the end of the operations. The graph really displays any video card parameters including FPS. All parameters can be sorted in their order of display. If you wish to monitor everything while playing a game or running benchmarks, an icon can be added to the system tray. If you are playing a game in full screen, text information can be displayed in the corner of the screen. This is very handy. So you see, monitoring with Afterburner is quite simple. Before you start overclocking, you should have looked at the specifications of the model of your video card to learn about its potential. Get ready for overclocking in the next lesson.